So hello everybody and welcome back to our introduction to fitness Pilates. Hope you enjoyed the first section. So we're going to carry on straight from that first section. If you haven't just watched it, if you could just refer back to the warm-up because obviously you and you two get nicely loose and dark, uh, particularly the, uh, the barbic area. Um, so that's quite, well, it's very important. So you can just go back to that, get nicely loose and dark and warmed up. And we'll continue from them. So now what we're going to do, we're going to carry on going down onto the mat. We did start to go onto the mat at the end. So we're going to continue from there and we'll do some mat based exercises. So if you'd like to, presumably you just carried on in which case your mat will be there. But if not, we'll just pop our mat down already. Okay. There we go. So we're going to be standing now at the end of the mat. So we'll carry on with our roll down that we did towards the end of the first section. So we're taking those arms up. We're inhaling the extension if that's all right. And then arms come down, dropping the chin, the knees are soft. So remember, if this is for you, also if you need to press, just come down to knees. If at this stage you want to come to knees, are absolutely no problem. Coming down and spreading the fingers. So I'm going to take you back now onto your right knee and mind your right hip, your hands behind your shoulders. So we're back to our superman, which we're going to do at the end of the first section. So we extend up the leg, we breathe in, we change. And then extending the right leg, maybe that arm. Absolutely. So we're just coming back to our superman. So we lengthen through the swan and the long line. Inhale, how does that feel? Good. Good, yeah. One time. And just one more. And really sinking back. Up onto the hands and knees again. So remember, hands are shoulder width, knees are in line to the hips, that spine is neutral. If you feel you don't want to carry on with the hands and knees and want to come to the top, then that's absolutely fine. So we'll extend that right arm out, a little bit around to the side, back in and down. The left arm out to the side. In and out. In and out. Exhale. Look, see, you can say that nothing else moves here. So we concentrate on that center. Out. In and out. And the same thing with the legs. So we do that one out. To the side. In. And down. Left leg up. Out. In. Down. Just carry on with that. Let's carry on with that. I'm just going to demonstrate if you're on the floor. So you're still here. So you do your partners. And then you cut a leg out. In. And down. So that's the alternative. Otherwise, two more here. And then one more time. Out to the side. And great work. Well done. Sitting back. Feeling good. So now that bottom door's again. Releasing that lower back. Lengthen here. Bring the arms out in front of us. We've got a nice long line. This part is all about that connection through the body. So you can feel from the fingers, the arms, the shoulders, the spine to the glutes, down the legs, the heels, the toes, everything connected there. And 
and this spell drop is right in the right leg and down. So lifting from the glutes now. And go left and again. Excellent. Inhale the knee, we're going to slide, but we're not trying to go that So just lifting from the glutes Well done. So if you want a little bit more now, we take the opposite arm and move the head shoulders and come up and down. And up and down. Exhale. And two more. So enjoy those arms going down to the side. So our elbows are aligned with our shoulders. We have right angles with the upper and upper arms. We feel it's all the back of the shoulders now. So we keep that right angle. So the head can just relax and squeeze the back. And down. And back. And down. Let's And down. Really good to keep the shoulders strong. Helps our posture, helps our breathing, helps our balance. Three more. Yeah. If the head is rising, the last one's going to be fine. So it's going to be fine. The shoulders together. And relax in there. So I'm going to put those two together. If you prefer to go back to the first one, the second one, that's fine. Otherwise, we lift the right leg and we raise the arms. Now this time, if you want to, you can add a little bit more head and shoulder. So it goes like that. And if you prefer to keep the head down and lower it. And if you prefer to do it singly, that's absolutely fine. So we exhale, we squeeze the shoulder blades back, we lift that leg, engage those glutes. We inhale to release that breathing, help us control. Can I love this slow down? How does that feel? Quite, I'm sure. <laughs> and two more. And well done, well done, and we have to well done, that's okay. Yeah. 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 Now lengthen the arms again. This time, I'm going to add a little bit of middle to side of the spine. So the right arm comes up, and this is the inhale, and we just try to reach towards the thigh. You come back. And come in and down. So it's up, around. If the head and shoulder, then the other lips, if the head can't come to the we take the arms back. If we can't get that rotation, then hands. And again, round. Good. Four. Okay. Okay. 
asli Slowly, two, and just hold it in, hold it up, and see Gently, we just bring you back to that shell pose. If you have this one, to push back into that position. Back. If not, just coming up any way that's comfortable to you. So we come up, and then it's that's so okay. We sink back, and you can just bring your knees wider. I'm going to sit right back so the bottom comes towards the heels again. Releasing the low back, but now feel it and sink the inner part as that's it. Really lovely stretch inside the legs. And slowly coming up. Great work, well done. So far, so good. <laughs> okay, so now we come up to a sitting position. Put my knees slightly bent here. So we're sitting tall. All about that connection again. I'm going to do a half roll down. If we have a still brace, it's still feeling. I'm afraid this isn't for you. So the alternative I'm going to show you first, you would be not that long. You just don't come down. We're keeping our spine still. Now maybe if you're okay with you, just raise one leg and just do a very Gentle tap and release. So that spine space is not much of a clock. Okay, so that's the two first two. If we are okay with our spine for this one, we're sitting up, nice and tall, we bring the arms forward, to the back. Now, as you exhale, we're drawing that tummy back towards the spine and we just into that half roll down. And slowly coming up. So, really important to articulate from the spine to keep that connection. So, as we come up, we still have that centering back. Just arch oh, all that. And gradually, you'll get used to that. And hopefully, so exhale. Now, so, I'm giving you two breaths. So if you feel, as always, with the breathing, particularly when you move to the exercise, you need to take an extra breath. Please don't hold the breath. Please do breathe. Very good. Exhale. Exhale. Good. Let's get that and we go again. Release and just lean forward, so just a little bit of good place in the knees, chest forward, and just to the reach towards the toes, just release there. Coming up. So that was a half roll down. I'm going to do the half roll down again and then I'm going to do a little twist. So again, if this is not going to be still mat, you lie down. You get the inhale, you come down, and a little twist, a little bit more intense in the lower back, we're coming up, inhale, chest open, so inhale, exhale, just around. Good. And again. We can feel a little bit on the now. Two more. Exhale. Rotate. Good. And how can we go? One more time. Ah, it's okay. Just 
Releasing forwards. Excellent. Okay, sitting up. So from here, now we need to roll down onto your back, sink your back. So I'm going to continue that half roll. I'm going to be very careful to articulate through the spine really slowly. If you feel there comes a point when you're going to collapse, just gently bring your arm down and lower down. Keep your breath now. Muscle in the head. So we exhale slowly so it's not harmful, but we continue. So remember, just drop that arm down should you need it. And we sort of so we slowly, slowly, carefully just running all the way down, all the way down, and slowly down, slowly down, dumping the arms over. And take a lovely stretch up, great release now. Well done. That feels so good, doesn't it? On one side, the other side. Oh, I'm going to shine the more right in my eye, and I'm going to come back home. And well done, surging the arms, just pull those knees in. And we'll just give them a stir up. So that is good release in the low back. So we're going to be with these exercises. Do you feel like these are a little release? This is always good. Excellent. Okay, bring the right leg down and the left. Now bring the feet down. We're going to move on to a shoulder bridge, which some of you might have done before. We'll just start the basics. It's all about the basics today. And then gradually the videos we can start to build up. So we've got our feet hip width. If you're not sure about the hip width, just bring the toes inwards and then push them so they're level with the heels. That hopefully should be good. The bottom is hip and up very good. And then point of contact now on the feet. Glutes, shoulders, something like that. So we breathe in now. As we begin to breathe out, just squeeze the glutes, still the pelvis, peel the spine, and it comes up on the camera. So we come up, keeping those hips now, and slowly coming down. That's what it's that's okay. Exhale, making sure our hips are warm. Inhale, two, and out. Look, we'll do a few more. How does that feel? You feel it in the glutes, you feel it in the hamstrings. All good. Excellent. Just three more. And then just about everything as well as past the always include the shoulder. It's a firm favourite, it's all good. And then on the next one, if you're okay, just hold it there for a little while, keeping those hips level. Hold it there, breathing. And then slowly lower down. Well done, take hold of the thighs, bring those knees in. That's very well done. And the other. Okay, so right leg coming down, and we still have left leg coming down. We're going to move on to single leg stretch now. Okay. So we've got two options. The first very basic option, we lift the right knee, then and then we extend the leg out, bring it in, and So that's our first basic level. Right. Make it a little bit harder by raising both legs. Go back to that first level. If you're not sure about this, 
So we extend the right leg, make it feel much more full notice than I come. And you come in. So again, exhale. That's it. nothing else we do. If you have that core has to work there. Back to that basic. If you feel that's getting too much, you're doing really well. And three. If you have a shift with your spine, then keep your feet down. If you don't, I want to give it a go. So you can raise the legs. So we're here really centered. And keep up here, the shoulders stay into the ground here now. And we exhale over to the right. We keep the knees stacked. And come around. And then exhale over all the way. To the left. And we can look over that shoulder a little bit more. Feel that spine opening up. And going over, keeping those shoulders down, breathing in. And say so if that feels too much for the spine, just bring the feet down. Otherwise, we carry on. Hold that split, just opening up across the spine. Knees to the step. If you can, just looking over that left shoulder there, holding that lovely stretch. And release, coming into the middle, and then just over to the other side. Knees to that, so that left foot gently resting down. And again, just looking over the shoulder. Open up here. Brilliant. Back to the middle and circle. Lots more exercises 
gradually building them up. Um, at this stage now, I would do a stretch and cool down. Which on this video, we are running out of time. So if you just now move over to the stretch and cool down video for fitness Pilates, and you'll be able to stay on the mat here once you've got the video and uh, do all the stretching and then have a bit of relaxation as well, which you really, really deserve. So well done and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.